Hi, I'm Shobit Sahai, Technical Product Manager on Office 365 team. And today I'm going to walk you through different encryption controls in Office 365. In Office 365, we take security very seriously and protecting your data is of utmost priority to us. So we use a variety of encryption mechanisms in our data centers, such as BitLocker on your hard drive, to TLS on data flowing between Office 365 data centers and your network. And we top it off with some strong encryption standards, such as per file encryption, where each individual file is uniquely encrypted with data at rest. But we understand each organization has unique security requirements. Office 365 provides three different encryption controls to support your needs. First is Information Rights Management, aka IRM, that can be used to secure communication inside your company. IRM helps you secure your information by encrypting it and applying an intelligent policy so that only specified people can act on it. For example, you can allow recipients to edit and print, but restrict them from forwarding to others or mark the document as company confidential, so external users can't view it. Second is Office 365 Message Encryption, which allows you to send encrypted emails to anyone. This is especially important when the external recipient is using an unknown email client. The recipient simply needs a Microsoft account or a unique one-time passcode to authenticate and access the message. The recipient can view and respond to the messages from their browsers on desktop or their mobile devices using Office 365 message encryption apps and all those messages will continue to be encrypted. Complementing IRM and Office 365 message encryption is S-MIME, the third encryption control in Office 365. S-MIME is a peer-to-peer -peer encryption solution where communication is encrypted peer-to-peer, -peer, so no one in the middle can view it, not even your administrator. You can easily send and receive S-MIME messages from Outlook, Outlook Web App, or EAS clients. You can either choose to digitally sign the messages or encrypt them using S-MIME. To learn more about encryption controls in Office 365, go to trust.office365.com.